Okay, what's up, motherfuckers? This is Mark from Diashini. Hey, and this is Tyler. So, Tyler and I have done, you you guys who follow the channel should know Tyler by now. We've done a number of videos, we've done a number of Skype calls, and so Tyler does Amazon and eBay dropshipping. One of the reasons why he was able to get into Amazon dropshipping and get the buy box, you got the buy box immediately? Yeah. Yeah, I was I was in rotation for the bottom. Right, price. because you did because he did FBA before. Like usually, if you start from scratch, it would take like 90 days or 90 so days, to get the yeah. buy box. But he did FBA before, and he's getting back into FBA now that he's making bank with drop shipping. And I want to get into FBA, and I'm going to show you motherfuckers how to to research products and and that type of stuff. But I'm going to learn most of my stuff from Tyler. And so yeah, so basically I'm just letting you guys know we're going to start covering FBA stuff, right? Yeah. But how... Give we, we're not claiming to be experts or anything at FBA. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Like we'll show like real numbers and stuff. Like yeah. we're, not make, we're not making millions of dollars in FBA. Yeah. <laughs> but so how long, when did you do FBA? Like how long did it last? Like yeah. just tell me the story. So uh, pretty what much... What the price of the item was, how much it cost. You'd have to save the item. But well, okay, so oh, you can. the, the you. first FBA I did um, was actually in like right after Christmas when, uh, when TJ Maxx was having a clearance on their website, right? Okay. And they were selling these things called the Wonder Core. And it was basically an ab machine. And right, so it was being sold for like $100 on Amazon. Mm. And it was $45 on TJ Maxx. And on then, the website? On the website. <laughs> yeah. The and then you could, uh, yeah, so I didn't know about drop shipping really like at the time in terms of like doing that on Amazon. Yeah, if you had just listed it. Yeah, so it. yeah, so I could have done that, I guess, for, for that. But uh, instead, I was like, oh, okay, I need to get the product and send it into Amazon and, and do it that way, right? Because I was starting to get into eBay dropshipping like a little bit, mm. um, but nowhere near doing Amazon dropshipping at the time. So I bought like as, I think it was like maybe four, 45 to 50 of these things these wonder stores <laughs> yeah and i had a nine percent uh gift like discounted gift cards from raise.com also so <laughs> i used that and so i bought so all those. like 40 dollars you spent like two thousand dollars yeah so i bought all those and sent them into uh amazon's warehouse right and they sold like really quickly like within a month two months less than a month. i think within like a couple weeks to be honest Fuck, as okay. soon as they got in the warehouse so and did you price it I know you may not, but did you price it less than what they were selling for on Amazon? Yeah, so I didn't at the time really like understand kind of how everything worked. <laughs> yeah. um, so if you're if you're sending into Amazon and doing FBA, you can actually get the buy box right away. Like if the product's in Amazon's really? warehouse. Yeah. I didn't know you that. You qualify for the buy box if you're prime. Okay. So it's just drop shipping where you have to wait like the 90 days. Okay, to okay, okay. So I was like oh, just shit. making that sure. That is fucking cool. Yeah. yeah, so I was just making sure that I always had the buy box. Mm -hmm. And I was just like always going like, you know, the penny war where it's like you just go <laughs> a penny lower than everyone else. So I was always just trying to be like a penny lower than everybody else um, so I could get the buy box and sell them real quick. And I did, which was pretty cool. That was like my first FBA experience, right? So and wh what type of price you sold them at, if you remember? I had, it was between 90 and 100 dollars oh wow so it was, you made bank you like dub, basically doubling money it was pretty good money yeah for sure but a couple of them did end up getting returned mm -hmm. and like they came to my house so now i have a couple wonder cores at my house <laughs> like, I don't even, obviously i don't use them like it, as you can tell but <laughs> <laughs> um okay yeah go ahead so yeah so then from there i was like well this is cool but i, I searched for a while to try to find another product like that and mm -hmm. that was just like a rare, like a rare thing that that happened for me because I couldn't find another product after that that was that good of markup on Amazon that was like that low on the clearance side of TJ Maxx. So ah, okay, at that okay, point, okay. that's when I was like, all right, I need to try to import a product from China okay. and do it that way so that I'm not like limiting myself by what a retail website it was is on clearance, yeah. yeah, it was on clearance. Um, but there are people who make a ton of money doing what I just described. But that's yeah, like because I feel like game. you can make, so this is just on the software side. I feel like you can make a spider to spider clearance on all these websites and then run the, the UPC through Amazon. Yeah. And, and check the pro. Yep, I know. Wait, see, if you're watching this video, we have another software to make. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. So yeah, from there, like I went and I did the, uh, I, I then was more focused on like trying to get a private label product. So I did these light up shoelaces and cornhole lights. And I, I, the way I found those was I used a software that basically like turns Amazon's um, the whole store into a database. And it lets you search through and like find products that are in 
high demand. And then once you find those products, you have to go through yourself and kind of figure out what's the competition like for this market. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the competition is, you know, too high, you want to kind of stay away from it. Okay. And the way you can like kind of verify competition on Amazon is based on like number of reviews. The more reviews the product listing has, uh, like the harder it is for you to be, uh, be to rank against to be, it. Okay, yeah, to rank okay. against it. And then also obviously like the number of people selling it, whatever. But um, there's softwares out there now that will tell you how many are selling a month um, of the product. Mm -hmm. So like if someone has 10 reviews and they're selling 5,000 products a month, obviously that's a market you want to be in because mm. you can get in and you can be super competitive, yeah, you can right? Competitive, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And you can give away a few at the beginning and like and you find prices. Right? There's products like that out there. Obviously, like it will take they don't they don't get yeah. yeah they don't get like the reviews don't stay that low for long. Obviously, it's just there's a lot of sales at the beginning, so the yeah. the um the rank on the Amazon page is going to be higher, so it makes it look like. Because it's not so the software it, it guesses what how many sales are right based uh, on the sales rank yeah based on the sales rank yeah, yeah. so something that jumps up like real high at the beginning that doesn't mean they've sold like five thousand right away right it just means they're on pace to mm, sell five thousand right. a month whatever um, so yeah then for, so ah right right right, right. so it'll jump okay yeah go ahead yeah so and it's weird because one day if it's a new product it will be like ranked 20,000 in sports and outdoor and then if it doesn't get a sale the next day then it's ranked like 80,000 in sports and outdoor yeah. you know so um and that's what my cornhole lights were in they were in sports and outdoor so i was i i found the supplier on alibaba for both the cornhole lights and the the shoelaces um they were i didn't do anything like branding or anything like that on them mm -hmm. i just bought the product directly from alibaba and sent, it came to my house. I put my labels on it, sent it into Amazon on my listing, and then. When you I, say labels, where did you? Get so they're just like basically you print off like labels on um, Amazon. Amazon. Okay. So like when it goes into uh, when the it gets warehouse, it, uh, they scan it yeah. and then it goes into the system and the proper category. Yeah, exactly. So. so then when they go to pick it, it's like. You know how like Amazon's warehouse, they just have all those like robots that go around, yeah. whatever. So it knows what's bi what bin it's in, and then someone picks it from. And that then bin. when it gets to Amazon, it automatically lists your account. It automatically goes into yeah. And like, you have to it takes like a week, like from the time that you actually probably put it in the mail for it to go to the warehouses that you know you're sending it to. And then, um, fuck, this wind is gonna fuck this video up. <laughs> um, what was I gonna ask you? So you send it, blah blah blah. Ah, and then when you send it, do you take the, how do the images work? You take, and uh, this is some basic shit, right? Yeah, so that's actually another thing that like people are, like differentiate themselves. The, mm -hmm. the better the pictures, the more mm -hmm. sales they're gonna get. So if they see a listing that has crappy pictures but are, are selling well, then that's, they know that's an opportunity for uh, them to yeah, like yeah, yeah. hire somebody to take pictures for them and, and then compete. Yeah. And they don't even really have to do anything different with the product. It's yeah. literally just better pictures. So what? Ha so the process is you take the pictures of an item, you upload it and then you ship the stuff to Amazon. Yeah, exactly. And then so when it gets the listing and then, and okay. then you, and then once like the listings created, you just go in and like you just click restock inventory or whatever. And then okay, it tells okay. you, you know, this is where you need to send it to or whatever. But okay, and then how was that? What was the price point of those items? So I was getting the cornhole lights uh, for twelve dollars, and then I was selling them anywhere from twenty to twenty-five on Amazon, depending on the listing. So and I had to get like sixty, seventy percent. Yeah. So after Amazon and fees and everything, I was probably only profiting like five, like five to ten dollars. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Like some. Okay, so I was able to sell it for like thirty dollars on one listing. Okay. So on those, I was profiting like ten dollars. But yeah. Yeah, usually I think it was around five dollars is what I was actually making. And like you were paying twelve. Yeah, and I was paying twelve. But then the customer service and shit for for Amazon FBA is there's like there's nothing. zero. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing. It's fully automated once you get it in. The only thing you really like once dealing you get with it are in, just keeping that's stock. That's yeah, funny. keeping <laughs> stock and like make it look. I guess uh, pay per click is the only real thing that you have yeah, to go work. in on a daily basis and kind of experiment with. Um, for me, I was losing money on pay-per-click because I'm so bad at it. Like, I'm not afraid to admit that. Yeah, but yeah. I was still... So, with even without the pay-per-click advertising, still I was still selling. So, it, it was fine. It didn't matter. Because, like you always say, Amazon has so much traffic. Yeah, and that's the thing about FBA is people, they 
are afraid that they're gonna like buy ten thousand dollars worth of inventory and lose ten thousand yeah. dollars that's not how it works like yeah. you will eventually sell all of it if you do the right research up front you just might not sell it as quickly as you wanted to okay. which is why i stopped the shoelaces because i didn't sell them as quickly as i wanted to but yeah and then the cornel lights just kind of faded away because i got way too into drop shipping and i was like i'm gonna go full force on this yeah i need to figure out i want to i'm gonna I'm gonna get into FBA this year, maybe soon, like within the next week. Yeah. And then I'm gonna show these motherfuckers on YouTube, like. Yeah. From zero to like, yeah. whatever. Maybe I'll buy a Lamborghini. No, I'm not buying a fucking Lamborghini. Like, that's just not gonna happen. Anyway, motherfuckers, <laughs> so this is just the first video on FBA. Subscribe to your channel. I'll make a new playlist for FBA on the channel. Um, because I wanna do, I may not do FBA videos daily, yeah. at least not right now. But we'll do a lot of videos about it, and hope, hopefully, I'll get, I'll make a lot more money in that for you. Yeah, and just to tell you, like right now, I'm in the process of actually getting back into it. So now, I'm um, with my product. We're looking to find a manufacturer. So hopefully, I can keep updated too with how that thing goes. Okay. Yeah. All right, sweet. Subscribe to the channel. Look in the description for free shit. There's Tyler's blog. There's some other shit in there. Love you guys. Make that money. Later.